Welcome to the 2013 edition of the Serious Organised Crime Threat Assessment produced by Europol. Over two years in the making, drawing on contributions from all major law enforcement agencies in Europe and Europol's other international partners, this is the most detailed study ever undertaken of the threat from serious and organised crime in Europe. It will be used by ministers to set strategic priorities in the EU for the fight against serious and organised crime over the next four years. What the report shows is that serious and organised crime activity is increasingly dynamic and complex and remains a significant threat to security and prosperity levels in the European Union. We still have major problems coming from traditional crime areas such as international illicit drug trafficking, from facilitated illegal immigration, money laundering, the trafficking of human beings. But also what we're noticing is the emergence of new criminal phenomena, for example, inspired and motivated by the internet. Cybercrime in general has become more complex, the range of offences more broad and diverse, and the impact that it has on governments, on businesses and citizens, is a particularly worrying trend. We've also seen the impact of the economic crisis and how that has given rise to new opportunities for organised crime. We've seen, for example, the emergence of a much larger black market, a shadow economy, using illegal labour workforce supply, um, involved in, for example, the production of a greater range of counterfeit goods, including those that have a health and safety dimension. And also the rise of the number of frauds, uh, illegal investments that are taking and draining away significant financial resources from our economies and from the private incomes of our citizens at the worst possible time. So organised crime really does remain a problem now in Europe. Driving this illegal business forward is a new breed of organised crime groups. We estimate in our report there are now 3,600 organised crime groups active in Europe. Many of them now are much more international in scale in their membership, in their activity than we've seen before operating in multiple criminal sectors, in multiple cr uh, countries as well. And the emergence of this new network of internationally connected organised crime groups, very fluid and dynamic in their nature, presents a new problem for police services across Europe. Europol is at the heart of the strategic and operational response to this problem. We are proud of the work that we do with the law enforcement authorities in Europe against these organised crime groups. And we will continue to do that work to protect our citizens, our governments and our businesses from the threat from serious and organised crime.